Hi Taurus, I hope that you all are having a beautiful day. This is your girl Aqua Goddess coming to give you all a general reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And if you're not new, thank you so much for your love and support. Welcome back. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, love. So we're just going to go ahead and tap right into your reading. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Note. Please return all negative energy back to sender 10 million fold and anybody out there showing me love much love and light to you guys please make sure that you join the family i would love to have you make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if there's any personal readings uh, donations any purchases for my artwork or manifestation jewelry all of the information will be listed below the spirit what are the messages for my beautiful, my handsome Taurus. What is the information that Taurus needs to know? Non-committal acting single. So this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, you may be dealing with someone that's non-committal. You could want more out of the relationship, but this person's kind of closed off. You don't know what they really want. You're confused. And at this point, you're thinking about just letting the whole connection go. Move away from the conflict. Exactly. So you guys are thinking about moving away from the conflicts. It's just too many problems <clears throat> with this particular connection. And you don't know if it can grow into an actual commitment you know where you guys can build an empire together a lot of you guys may have felt like you outgrown your workplace you could be trying to go more on your journey of being an entrepreneur or just looking for something else that accommodates you better could be there for a long time and you just feel like there's not a lot of growth that's happened and you're ready to just level up so you could definitely be thinking about a change of career or something of that sort you're not impressed by your job it's like you've been trusting the process you've been patient but at this point you're wanting to take control and just try something different I'm picking up blackmailed energy here somebody that has a drinking problem okay all right so there's someone saying that they're in a connection with someone they didn't know how to tell you so they've been avoiding your questions as well as seeing you um so this person could know that if they see you you guys have already been intimately connected on a sexual level so they could know that you know when they do see you there's a great possibility that you will have sex um there's been questions that you ask this person that still have gone to this day unanswered. All of this is because they're connecting with someone else. They don't have the courage to tell you this, but they don't want to feel like they're connecting with someone else and still sleeping with you, if that makes sense, or still spending time with you. But this person just doesn't want to let your energy go. So they may text you randomly or check up on you randomly or sometimes even want to hang out, but more like in a public place. Um, and this is because they are seeing somebody else. They are sexually involved with this person. Um, you know, this person, I don't know if this other person knows about you or not, but you know you are not alone yeah so there you know there's a third party connection here this person could be thinking about leaving this third party connection because they do want to build something with you they might find it more beneficial to be in a connection with you um they feel like you're somebody that is more stable someone that they have a better chance of actually growing with and so it's saying they don't even know that I'm leaving yet. So this person may be leaving their third party situation to try to come back towards you. Um, this person could drink a lot. This could be you or the third party energy. Somebody has a drinking problem here. And somebody's thinking about, um, I think honestly another reason why they didn't come back is because blackmailed is here. So there could have been pictures or some form of evidence that they've been sleeping or traveling or being with somebody else. 
Yeah. They definitely been having freaky dreams about you, though. They miss you. This person can't compare to you um, at all. Not your vibes, not your sex, not your stability, not anything. This third party is just for fun. That's it. And they allow your person to do whatever it is that they need to do to them, whether it's use them for money, be a certain type of way during sex, something that you may not approve of. I'm seeing this person doing something very disrespectfully um, when they're intimate with this person, like spitting on them or something. Just a whole nother level of freaky that you're not with. Motherfucker fuck around and get their whole head knocked off. They try to shit with you. So this is the reason why they with this third party energy because this is some type of... Um, this bitch is raggedy. Long story short. It's a raggedy hoe. Okay? Um, I see that your journey is definitely supported by the ancestors here. Um, yeah, fight for what you believe in. So, yeah, you're fighting for what you believe in. You believe that you deserve loyalty. You believe that you deserve honesty. You believe that you deserve to be able to trust the person that you're connecting with. You don't feel that in this connection. So, you're moving away from conflict. Somebody loves, if you're feminine energy, somebody loves that macaroni sound that your yoni makes. That's what they said. <laughs> like this could have been somebody that talked to you about polygamy or may maybe they're just trying to do some type of um, have multiple suitors and not discuss it. So I don't even think it's polygamy because it's not their religion. It's more like just thotting and bopping everywhere. Yeah. And then that gangster. So whoever this third party energy is, they might find out who you are. This person could send you a message or something on social media. This person is a gangster on the internet, but it get beat up in real life. This this is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is the energy that, that's coming off with this karmic energy. Yeah. They have an obsession with your person. Yeah, they have an obsession with this person spiritual awakening your person has had a spiritual awakening in regards to you and this connection they're no longer wanting to play the blame game you make them happy they want to come to you with some kind of truth they've been having a lot of dreams about you especially sexual dreams there's something that you've done with this person sexually that they cannot stop thinking about nobody has ever touched this person the way that you have wow Taurus, <laughs> told you, nobody has ever touched this person the way you have, ever, so this person is thinking about fighting for what they believe in, somebody is an undercover freak, this could be this, this, uh, this could be you, you could be an undercover freak, you may come off as very conservative and very, like, innocent, but when you get behind closed doors, like 50 shades of gray type energy like big mad somebody big mad that you sharing your energy with somebody else because they know how bomb you are i feel so trapped i really want to quit my job and follow my dreams i feel so out of place so this is you i know you outgrown your workplace you want to do something else you feel out of place there you're just there at this point trying to get a paycheck but it's not your dreams yeah um there could be a feminine energy. And this shit is crazy, y'all. <laughs> First of all. But I'm going to say this shit anyway. Because you know how I get down. Okay? Okay. So, for some um, feminine energy. Like. Whoever this masculine is. He might have a smaller. One. <laughs> he might have a smaller one. Somebody is non-committal because somebody got a small one. <sighs> I hate it to say that shit. Damn. But if you know it ain't you, you won't be offended. But somebody don't even want to be in a connection for a long term because they feel like they might not be satisfied. It says, got me bouncing on the pacifier. So, <laughs> God damn, it's too early, spirit. It is too early. Why my spirit team talking about? No, it's not. Trust the process. <laughs> Exposed. Oh, my God, y'all. First of all, I barely got a filter. I be trying to keep shit a little bit filtered, but we got a long way to go with me. I'm not filtering shit. 
Yeah, because I already know I got a purpose out here. You hear me? To keep it a buck with you motherfuckers. So, at the end of the day, somebody don't want to be with somebody because they got a little... First of all, they act non-committal and they... Shit is small. Like, you could be focusing on building your own business. Somebody want to spend a night and they going to try to let the cat out the bag. This is some undercover freak shit you ain't seen yet. Yeah, this is what they trying to do. There are some dates that's uh, popping up in my head. Like, and I know I need to see it because spirit is giving me dates. So I got, um, these dates may be sufficient for you or not. Take them or leave them. But I got June 4th. I have April 6th. I have February 6th. I have February 4th. February 2nd. I got April 2nd, April 14th, April 11th, November the 4th, November 14th, November 2nd, November 12th, December 2nd, December 11th, December 4th, December 14th, December 18th, April 20th, April 18th, June 20th, June 18th, June 4th. Those are dates that I have. Um, signs that are significantly popping out for me in my head right now for you guys. Gemini. Uh, Cancer, Leo, Aquarius, Aries, okay? Yeah, somebody is tired of feeling invisible when it, invisible when it comes to you. They want you to pay them some more attention. They ain't playing about it no more. This person gonna come in your energy and try to annoy the shit out of you. Alright, Taurus? <laughs> it's like, I'm just telling you. Yeah, this person gonna try to annoy the shit out of you. What was that? Yeah, you have a you have warrior energy here. So you've been through a lot, you've learned a lot, you're letting go of a lot of shit that just don't serve you, and you're blossoming and transforming into a new phase in your life. You've lost hope with this connection with this person. You have. You or this person could be building your own business right now, just focusing more on your actual purpose. Than bullshitting with people and wasting time. What we got here? Yeah, you guys are setting a fine, a, a, a stable foundation for yourself. Some of you guys are born on May 21st. I don't know where that's coming from. May 22nd. April 27th. I see deceit here. This is why you lost hope. Because somebody deceited you. You don't love this person. You don't have confidence in this situation. You're not fighting for this shit because you don't believe in it. Okay. What else do we got? Somebody's love sick about you. This is a shallow person that gamble with your heart and play with your emotions. A lot of partying here. Um, be careful when you go out. Somebody definitely might try to set you up or do some dumb shit to where the boys got to get involved. So be careful with who you being around because I see the police energy and I don't fuck with it. I don't fucks with it. I don't fucks with it. Okay. So watch out. Like, I don't know if y'all hanging around with snitches. If y'all doing shit where y'all got fake people around y'all that's trying to get y'all on some locked up shit. But just be careful. double life yeah somebody has a double life they don't care about your feelings or your concerns they leave you on red they be out partying with their friend everybody else comes before you you guys yeah i told you be careful you got fighting and you got legal issues so when you go out some friends might invite you out and y'all might be drinking somebody might pop off or somebody could actually pull something out like make sure you stay strapped i'm not trying to be funny but stay strapped i don't know where y'all from but where i'm from <laughs> stay strapped um definitely somebody might be causing some type of legal issues here so just be careful be aware of your surroundings move away from the conflict if you see something popping off Go and move somewhere, especially if it don't have nothing to do with you. Don't get yourself involved. Trust and believe. You got haters around you, salty about your journey. People might have you getting involved with stuff that don't even concern you. So make sure that you wrap it up and get the fuck up out of there. All right, what else? Alright, 
and let's take so many. All right. Somebody tired of having side pieces. They don't want to have side pieces no more, but they are having money issues. Um, they're wanting to get to know you on a, a closer level to see if you guys are compatible, but they're trying to get their money right. Um, this is somebody who ran away from you when they started to catch feelings. They fell back. They got issues with their childhood that they haven't healed yet. So when it comes to emotions, they don't really trust people or let people in. You guys could have stopped sleeping with this person because you felt like they just didn't care about you or like this person wasn't concerned with you and how you really felt about things. So you kind of just really fell all the way back when it comes to this person because you realize that this person was catfish. And for a lot of y'all, they got baby mama, baby daddy drama that they ain't told you about. Child support, custody battles, whatever the case may be. But this person is a fraud. They still obsessed with you. Like, they really are. They're very still obsessed with you. This person remembers the time that you guys kissed or just how you make them feel. Like, the chemistry is crazy. I'm going to be honest. And somebody that found out about the chemistry that you got with this person and they saw it. It's this karmic energy probably went through their phone. And this is where this internet gangster shit coming from. They could have seen some type of messenger or something like that and feel bold enough to hit you up fuck around get dealt with that's how people get dealt with so at the end of the day whatever position you is and hopefully you know whatever but this karmic energy don't even know who they dealing with and they coming for you like they know you so this is where the problem gonna start it ain't even that you concerned about them being connected with this person you don't really give a fuck it's the fact that they bold enough to come towards you and talk shit to you like they won't get dealt with but the, see this is an internet gangster so i say ignore this ignore this hoe whoever it is ignore this hoe all right so um first chakra instinct i trust that my instincts are correct and i let my natural intuition feelings guide me forward I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. Yeah, and this is talking about also, it says that I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I'm telling you, it's a situation you're going to go out with some friends, have some drinks or whatever. Somebody going to try to fight you or it's going to be an issue. So just move accordingly. Don't get locked up fucking with these silly hoes. Okay. Um, did I pull any? Dang, I got a couple more messages for y'all. And then I got to wrap this up multitasking my loves i love you guys i did the cusp readings yesterday so if you follow on the cusp taurus gemini or aries taurus you have a cusp reading um that i did yesterday so make sure you guys check that out Some of you guys will definitely be letting the burden go of your job. You may be in a disharmony with your job. You may want to work alone. There's a lack of collaboration there. You're not motivated to be there. It's a misalignment. So you could definitely be letting that go or just moving on to something else. You could definitely be procrastinating, but I see that you're moving forward with that. You're taking a leap of faith um, with the Fool card. You could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Um, definitely whoever this runner is is very manipulative they're not trustworthy they could do some shit to really fuck with your freedom let's let's put it like that the level of disrespect that this person take you through and make you haul off and just flip out so be careful with that because i see big mad here i'm picking up the police and shit like so make sure that you're on your toes if you got any questions holla at your girl send me an email whatever the case may be but don't get yourself in some shit that you can't get yourself out of fucking with some stupid friends or some whack-ass past person all right but I love you guys so very much. Um, if you enjoyed this reading or if it resonates with you, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Peace.